So that's going to turn the water wheel down in the basement, which is going to provide power to something. I forgot if it mentioned what it would provide power to. Maybe it'll provide power to that turbine, and maybe that will open that huge door made for a giant. I think I also have some information here, don't I? Water wheel room plate message. To turn on the lights in the third floor cells, turn this water wheel. It also says the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. You also have to open the sluice gate on the roof. Yeah, it makes it sound like the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel is something I have control over. Right? Like, I need to do that, plus open the sluice gates, and I haven't done anything with any sort of directionality of the water. But it mentions turning on the lights in the cells on the third floor. What does that help with? So it's just opened all the sluice gates, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe opening all of them is gonna, like, pour water on the front and the back of the wheel? So they won't really, like, spin properly? Maybe I need to somehow close some of them, or clog some of them, or so- Wait. Oh, the pipes! Look at the third floor. Yes, and now they're even blue, they're highlighted, the pipes. Some of them are broken. That's how I direct the flow. Okay. I don't really know which direction it needs to be, though. To be honest. Uh... Does it show? Um... Yeah, I guess it needs to be on one of those corners. Either that corner... Oops. Either that corner or that corner. Top left or bottom right. So like, this one or that one? Which one goes all the way through? That one, it looks all blotchy there. And it's gone for some reason there. Huh, I'm not sure what control I have over the water pipes. Have to figure that out. But uh, let's go back to the third floor and check the water pipes. See if water's like flowing, if I can do anything. Move the pipes, clog them. I don't know what the what though. Well, I hear more water. Yeah, that's a problem. Maybe. Can I like take the pipe? I'm just not sure how I can influence this. Like, I don't have anything. I don't suppose the lights are on in the cells? Oh, wait, they are on. But that brings up the question of why do I need them on? Is there something I need that for? Just went around all the rooms and, yeah, didn't see anything different that I could do, so... Uh, maybe it's gonna help me when I go down the hole? Like, maybe some of the light will shine through to the first floor or something? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go down this one, which is the one that I think... ...will connect to this open spot. No fear at all, Harry. Oh. I didn't go all the way down to the first floor, did I? No, I went down to the second floor. Interesting. This is some sort of weird hole falling puzzle. Also, how did I fall down the hole and then end up somehow going sideways and landing next to the next hole? Harry's got some skills. Can't even unlock it from the inside. Okay.
Is there a light here, by the way, or am I getting light from the upper floor? I think I'm getting light from the upper floor. I'm on the first floor. If this is the first floor, then what am I going to jump down to? Huh. This isn't quite working out how I thought. The empty spots on the map were just cells that hadn't been found yet. Oh, fuck! Why are you not attacking me? What? Oh, now you're trying to attack me. If that means I chose wrong. Maybe that's a punishment for choosing wrong. It's being put in a room with just a couple enemies. Shower room. Maybe not. It's unlocked. Oh yeah, no, no, it's fine. It takes me to the whole inner thing in the basement. That is so creepy that there's an inner thing in the basement. Yeah. I think these are meat hooks above me. Or just hooks in general. Okay, so now we're out to the normal place. Oh, look at that camera zoom in. Look at how it just closes in. <sighs> Swinging past those hooks. So now this is going to go up in the exact center. Yeah, we've never, never been able to access the center of any of these places. The cells are all around the center. What's over here? Hmm. This is the observation room, isn't it? These are the peepholes. First floor. Yeah. I thought those... I thought the shadows were coming from above, though. But these peepholes are from the side. Hmm. 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 Not expecting to find anything different in any of these. But you never know. Hey, right, it's you. Yeah, nothing else in the cell. Wait a sec. There's a hole there that goes deeper down? Wait, is that the one that I first... That's the one that I first used to get into the shower room. Okay. Right, I'm in the first floor now, not the B1. I thought maybe there was another way down from B1 that would take me to B2. No, no, no. Hmm. There's a document here. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. 
As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. What the fuck? All these different floors can rotate independently? That is wild. Um. Hmm. Dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. I don't quite understand what that means, but I can picture lining up a bunch of the, the cells with holes in them so that a body falls. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. Okay. How do I change the alignment, though? Like, these aren't switches on the wall. I can't do anything with them. Bloody beds. Oh, I can keep going up. Hmm. Didn't notice anything different in any of these peepholes, but I did notice one with a bloody bed. Yeah, this one. And also there's a crank here, which is probably to rotate this room. So which one is this? Hard to note it exactly, but bottom left. Bottom left. So if this one's going to be rotated... I can rotate this one, but I can't rotate the first floor. So I've got to go back down and look at what the first floor has. So I need to go clockwise one, two, three, four times. Yeah, that should do. Clockwise four times. I think if I turn the handle to the right, it's going to go clockwise. So clockwise four times. To the right, four times. Yep, looks like I did it correctly. So we got the bloody bed now. Oops. Got the bloody bed on the second floor here, just like where it is on the first floor. So now I just gotta do the same on the third floor. But before that, we got a note to read here. Another log. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. <laughs> so yeah, just line up the holes, I guess, to be able to see down further. Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. Sick fucks. P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with a first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. Okay, this is kind of spelling out a little bit too clearly. Like, I already figured it out. Let me figure out some of the puzzle on my own. By the way, if you use the people in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. 
I mean, it's basically just telling me the solution. I already figured it out, but I'm surprised they would do that. Some kind of memo. The secret number for getting through the door in back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Whoa, what? I don't know what just happened. I was supposed to turn this two times to the right to line up this third floor and the bloody bed and all that, but I just turned it once to the right and it unlocked that door down there. What? But yeah, this should do it. Right? That should make it so that... Ah, keep pressing the wrong button. This one should be the bloody bed. Yeah, that's correct. Why did that trigger before? Stay in there. God, please. Come on, let me out of here. So I didn't so I didn't die in here. Make me stay in there, Walt. Walt, I'm telling you, stay down. Let's walk away. Who is that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. What? I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Whoa. Where did Andrew go? So if that kid's Andrew, or not Andrew, um, Walter Sullivan, then that's the... That's the killer. Walter Sullivan apparently did a string of murders seven years ago. Which they would have been, like, unborn at that point. So they must be somehow, like, manifesting or, or something, uh, the younger version of themselves. Maybe that's why... Maybe that's why they're so evil now. Because they grew up in the orphanage, and were made evil by the cult. Where am I trying to go now? Uh... Maybe back down to the basement now that the power's going to see if that big door's open? Possibly? Um... I still need to find the kitchen. Well, let's take a look at the basement. I was expecting to see Andrew on my way down. Oh, hey. Thing's got some serious speed. Wow. Things spinning, what about this? Can't open it very wide. I 
don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm a bit confused. I don't understand why Andrew was let out of their cell. I thought I was trying to get behind the kitchen, but I don't even know where the kitchen is. And Andrew was let out before I even aligned everything to get behind the kitchen. But again, where's, where's the damn kitchen? Right, well, I have them lined up, the bloody beds, that is. There's something I don't understand about the map, though. I don't understand what the grayish holes mean versus the black holes. I'm pretty sure that there's a distinction, right? Like, look at these. There's pretty clearly one that's deep black and then the others are very gray. Let's just try this. Wait. This isn't the room with the bloody bed. Did I see the blood on the ground and think it was on the bed? Well, this probably isn't gonna work then. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, this is the one with the bloody bed. So... Wait, wasn't this one gray before? Now it's black? I don't understand. I'm just gonna jump down and hope I don't die. You know what? I think maybe gray just means you haven't been down the hole. Or you haven't been in the room with the hole anyway. Because obviously this one was black before I actually went down it. But maybe that's all it means. Huh. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Um, ooh, this looks like the kitchen, doesn't it? Yeah, this is definitely a kitchen, and the secret death chamber is supposed to be behind the kitchen. Yep. Just make sure I'm not trapped near or something. There's a plate on the door. Oh. Watchfulness placard. It shows an eye and it says watchfulness. I'm not so sure that these are the sins. The ten sins. Watchfulness doesn't seem like a sin. It's dark and I can't see the buttons. Oh. I think I have the passcode for that, but... Um... Yeah, I've got to get light all the way down here. That's why I've got to get them lined up correctly. With the, with the bloody beds, I think? Maybe? Maybe you can get down here without having the bloody beds lined up, but if you want to get the light down here, you gotta have it right or something. Dining hall. Yeah, so that kitchen up here, this door is the only way into this room, and that room must be the death chamber. Man, these things just keep coming back. I do like the way they designed this map. It's actually, this level is very cleverly designed the way it folds in on itself and loops around. So they make it so that you can fall through the holes and you don't just like end up in a, a death state or something. If you go down the wrong hole, you just kind of like end up in either the shower room and then you can go out to the main hall or the kitchen. You might end up in the kitchen, which is kind of where you want to go, but you can't use the pad if it's not lined up correctly because you can't see light. There we go. So I got the second floor, the actual bloody bed to be in the right spot. 
which is letting light down now. And I don't know why it's letting light down now. That's one part I definitely don't understand. Because I looked around the entire third floor when the second floor was not aligned correctly. And just a second ago, the entire third floor had no lights working. Even though that's where the lights come from. But suddenly, now that this bloody bit is aligned correctly, the lights on the top floor come on? That I don't get. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's light going down there now. Okay, well, there's light in the kitchen now. The code is 0302. 0302. I'm scared about what's going to be in here. This is the death chamber. Hmm. <laughs> is this going to be a boss fight? The 18th victim. Looks like the time of day outside has changed. It seems like the sun is going down. It's always been midday every time before. even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from inside the hole. Someone crying. Sounds like they're grieving. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade, triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. wonder if I'll get that sword at some point. It sounds like people are talking out here. 
How's it going with room 302? Well, I uh, just tried to open it up, but it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside. Huh. Anyway, it's not the first time. You mean the guy who lived here before? And it wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. Don't say that. You're scaring me. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under his door. Uh, don't worry about it too much. There are a lot of strange things in this world. The umbilical cord I keep in a box in my room. Ew. Lately it started to smell terrible. That's disgusting. Um, umbilical cord? Oh. Well, I forget I said anything. What the fuck? There's another handprint added to the wall, by the way. Umbilical cord, what the fuck? Why is it covered in blood? Stained with blood and I can't read it. What the fuck is wrong with this place? Superintendent's memo. Why, is, why did I collect it if I can't read it? Oh, just that. Everything that enters this, enters this world just gets corrupted, dies, bleeds, sick. I wonder if Eileen's going to be the 19th victim. Does that bunny never stare at me? Huh. Let's see what the outside world looks like at this time of day. I would check the radio too. And now the news. In Washington, a gathering of 200,000 people appealing for stricter gun control laws in the wake of a spate of violent shootings throughout the country turned tragic when shots were fired into the crowd. Two people were killed and several wounded, including a three-year-old child. At this moment, no suspects have been found. Police are investigating the source of the shots. Uplifting. Wait, let me just chase a stray thought. The superintendent or whatever. I think that is a superintendent, right? Anyway, they uh, mentioned the umbilical cord. I've heard something about an umbilical cord. I think... Here? I can't find what I was thinking of. There was something about a baby being happy. Where was that? What was that from? I looked through all the memos. I didn't see it. Also, I just saw this looking around. This photo. I got this photo from Sunderland, the superintendent. I heard his son and daughter-in-law disappeared in Silent Hill a few years back. God, the curse of Silent Hill spreads far and wide, huh? I should look at all these photos. South Ashfield Heights. I wonder when it was built. I guess it's a pretty old building. Can't look at those. Well, let's take a look at out outside. Looks pretty normal. 
Ah, here it is. Yeah, it's not in the room anymore. Remember when we first woke up in this room? It was all like rusty and messed up. It was different and it had different things in it, including this thing that was on the center table that isn't there anymore. Um, I'm just looking at my first video. Thankfully, I recorded everything, so I can just look this stuff up. It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read anymore. So it does mention the cord which the superintendent mentioned, keeping an umbilical cord and that it's starting to smell bad. Ew. But it sounded, talking about how the kid made many friends at Wish House, it sounds like they're talking about Walter Sullivan. Because we know that that kid came from Wish House. So, probably unrelated. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... We're going to see what new location we can head to through the hole. <laughs>